Hello students, welcome back. The topic that we are going to learn today is equations that are reducible to quadratic form. So let's get started. Okay, the type 1 of the equation. Equation of the form ax 2n plus bxn plus c equals to 0 where a cannot be equal to 0. Okay, so this is particularly the form that we will be discussing in this um, that how to solve this type of equations first of all what we are going to do is that we're going to convert this equation into quadratic form into second order and then we will be f solving it for x now as you can see in this equation uh, the equation says a x to n that means x n if this is my x and the power the first variable has power twice of n okay so this is how the equation is now in such type of equations what we do is we substitute a value another value or another variable that is equals to x n then we reduce it into second order form all right now let's see how uh, we do it okay now we are taking an example that is x4 minus 7 x square plus 12 equals to 0 now as you can see that if this is 2 the first power is 2 times of 2 that is 4 all right that is what my uh, the general form of the equation is now now let x square now what i did is that i have supposed y as equals to x square alright so let x square equals to y now why I'm doing that I told you that we suppose the value and we'll convert it into a quadratic form then after solving it for y we will be able to solve it for x alright okay so let's just name it as my equation a now we know that if I just x4 is what if you have x square and you just squared it you'll get x4 alright now I just squared equation a out here because I, I got a substitution for x squared and I need to get a substituted value for x4 as well now since x square equals to y if I just square this value this equation a okay what will it give it to me C if I am squaring this equation a will gives you x square whole square equals to y square then x4 see x4 equals to y square now you can see out here i got a substitution for x square and for x4 as well now let's just uh, uh, substitute all these uh, values into my question now the question becomes y square minus 7 y plus 12 equals to 0 now as you can see out here what i have done i've just supposed a value x square that is uh, I have supposed x square equals to y okay I have taken another variable and I have supposed it equals to x square because I would need to reduce this equation into a second order equation right now it's a bi quadratic equation or you can say a power 4 a degree 4 equation alright now if I got a substitution for this variable I need to get a substitution for this variable as well and what can I do is that I need x4 and I know if I square these values out here if I just square this I will get x4 equals to y square y square now y square is actually a substitution for x square now after that I've just used these suppos supposed values and uh, replace it into my equation in this equation alright so what I get is y square minus 7 y plus 12 equals to 0 now as you can see it is a second order equation okay now I have solved uh, equation B by using factorization or you can use quadratic formula as well the results that I got after solving is y equals to 3 and y equals to 4 now initially I have supposed y as equals to x square okay so I need to substitute value for of y3 and y4 in order to get value of x now first of all 
I will be doing it like x square equals to 3 and then x square equals to y. Why? Because I'm substituting value of y in equation A which was x square equals to y. Because I have initially I have supposed this value and I have for carry forward it. Now I need back substitution to get uh, my final answer. Now x square equals to y. So there are two values for y. Now x square equals to 3 and x square equals to 4. Now solving x by taking square root we get. See now in this step what I have done is that I need to find out value for x not for x square. So how can I find out values if I just remove this squares okay I will be able to get value for x and to remove this square if I take root on both sides of this these two equations I will finally get my answer. So I have taken square root in these of these two equations of x equals square equals to 3 and x square equals to 4 and this is what my final answer is x equals to plus minus root 3 and x equals to plus minus 2 now under root 4 is equals to 2 so x is equals to plus minus root 2 and this is how uh, I've written it into solution set now in set it is not important what order you follow you can write plus minus 2 before plus minus root 3 so it's completely okay all right now let's just move to another example and understand our concepts be better now out here you can see if I just take this now I said that the power which the power of this term okay if if this the power of this term is n first term power will be twice of n all right so out here power is 3 so this power is 2 times 3 is 6 this uh, first variable has power 6 now x6 minus 9x cube plus 8 equals to 0 now this is the equation that I need to solve now it's a 6 order equation now what I have done here is that I have supposed x cube equals to y earlier there was x square now I will have now I have supposed x cube equals to y all right and I have uh, write it down as my equation a big now if I just square this equation all right if I just square this equation what will I get 3 and 2 is 6 okay equals to y square so x times x6 equals to y square now these are the two substitutions x cube equals to y and x6 equals to y square if I just substitute these two sub, uh, substitutions that I have supposed into my question this is what I finally will get after substitution that is y square minus 9y plus 8 equals to 0 and I have named it as my equation B now I have solved equation B by using factorization by using quadratic formula or you can solve by using uh, perfect square as well now this these are the two for answers that I got after solving a second order equation that is y equals to 8 and y equals to one now what we do is that we substitute these values of y, y in my initial supposition that is x cube equals to y out here I have named it as equation a so I have written that I'm substituting values of y in equation a and this is my equation a x cube equals to y now you can see x cube equals to 8 and x cube equals to 1 all right now in order to get value for x I need to remove this cube sign okay now first of all what I'm doing is that I'm solving this part first x cube equals to 8 and I will be solving it by using a cubic formula now what exactly a cubic formula is a cube plus b cube is equals to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and a minus b cube a cube minus b cube is a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square okay 
Now, as you can see, I have taken the equation x cube equals to 8. What if I just equate the whole equation equal to 0? So, that means x cube minus 8 equals to 0. I can bring this positive number from here to here. So, x cube minus 8 equals to 0. Now, can I written this, can I just write this equation into this form that is x whole cube minus as it is 2 times cube because 2 cube equals to 8. So, if I just write it as 2 cube or 8, they both mean same. But why I have written it in 2 cube form is because I can now easily convert this form into my cubic co formula form that is the above equation c can now be solved by using cu cubic formula now in this uh, equation c as you can see i can use this formula that is a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b a square plus a b plus b square now as you can see this is my a that is x and my b is 2 out here this form is written here okay and i will be expanding it into this form now comparing equation c with the above formula we get a equals to x and b equals to 2 i'm not talking about what should be the value for cube and b cube and a cube if i need to find out value for a a equals to x and b is equals to 2 now i can write it as x cube minus 2 cube equals to now this form was given this value was given I can expand it using this cubic formula into and convert it into this form. We will get x minus 2 then x square plus 2x plus 2 square. This is exactly what is written out here. I have just rephrased it and I have as my values were a equals to x and b equals to 2. Okay. So I can equate it in equal to 0 now despite of writing this form I have considered this form expanded form and now they both are equal to 0 when they are equal to 0 what I can do is just I am equating these two brackets equal to 0 now first of all x minus 2 equals to 0 and x equals to 2 that is how I get x equals to 2 and then x square plus 2x plus 2 square equals to 0. Now, it's a quadratic equation. It's an order 2 equation. So, x square plus 2x plus 4. So, I've solved 2 square equals to 4. Now, you can use quadratic formula or uh, perfect square method uh, to solve this equation. And this is what the final answer is. x equals to minus 1 plus minus under root 3 iota. Now, just by solving one for uh, one uh, part of the equation that is x cube equals to 8 i got answer x equals to 2 and x equals to minus 1 plus minus under root 3 iota now i will be taking x cube equals to 1 and use the same thing all over again to solve it for x that is i will be using quad cubic formula x cube minus 1 equals to 0 now 1 cube is 1 so we can write it in this form this is my equation d and i have I've, i'm doing the same thing all over again that i'm now comparing it with the cubic formula now you can see x cube minus 1 cube is equals to x minus 1 x square plus x plus 1 square so this is how you get your final answer x minus 1 uh, and x square plus x plus 1 square which will be 1 equals to 0. x minus 1 equals to 0 will be giving you x equals to 1 and x square plus x plus 1 equals to 0. We will be, solve, uh, we will be solving this equation by using quadratic formula. So this is what we got x equals to minus 1 plus minus under root 3 iota over 2. So, a final solution set is 2 minus 1 plus minus under root 3 iota 1 and minus 1 plus minus under root 3 iota upon 2. Now, as you can see, how many solutions are there? There are actually 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six. There are six solutions in total. All right. So let's just have a quick review of what we have. Okay. If you just we just review what we have learned that we will be given an equation of this form a x two n plus b x n plus c equals to zero. All right. And we will be converting it, converting it into a uh, second order form. when we will be converting it into second order form what we will have to do is we'll substitute xn to another variable then we will find out substitution for x2n and we will reduce it into this form that is second order form we'll solve for y first and then we will be solving it to obtain the value of x so that is how this type of equations are done